Hello ladies and jelly spoons and welcome to Tiny Glade, a brand new builder's paradise. This game is all about creativity with no combat or objectives, allowing you to fully enjoy the freedom of gridless building. Its charming procedural art style sets the tone for a cosy relaxing experience. Now so far I've only created one build, a lakeside house to familiarise myself with the building mechanics. But today I'm going to take on a new challenge. I want to build Rapunzel's Tower. Perched on a hilltop, it will be surrounded by a quaint hamlet of houses. This is only my second build, so if you have any tips or tricks be sure to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to smash the like button as well and hit subscribe. It's completely free and helps me out a ton. Now without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Hello, hello. Now obviously you guys know what I've built. You've seen it. I probably put it at the beginning of this video. But I am unaware. All I know is I want to build Rapunzel's castle. And I'm going to try and be a little less enthusiastic this year. Because this is a relaxing game. This is a very relaxing game. So I'm not going to do my usual very enthusiastic voice. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And I'm thinking we're going to go flowery. Flowery. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. So, let's get started. And immediately I'm thinking I want the castle to be at the back. And maybe we'll have a bit of a moat around it. When I say castle, I actually mean tower. So, let's get landscaping. I'm going to delete this build here. Although, this is interesting. So, I've only done um, one build so far in Tiny Glade. And it's really interesting to see what's actually possible. And I can see here that they've added a building on top of a building to give that look. That's really interesting. Okay, well that's good to know that I can do that. Okay, I am going to narrate the rest of this. Um, because I do talk in camera, but I'm just going to speed up the whole video and just do a narration, I think. So here I'm playing around with the landscaping and trying to work out the mechanics of the landscaping because I haven't, I didn't understand it, I haven't tried it before. And I realised that actually you need to draw one whole piece without stopping and that section will be able to be raised up. So that's what I did there, I raised up three different sections. And that's the third section being raised up there. Now, I really want to put in Rapunzel's tower up here. That was my plan, was to have the tower right at the top of the hill. The problem was, is I couldn't work out how to put a building on top of a building, like I saw at the beginning, like, perfectly. Um, I do find out a bit later, as you'll see in a minute, that I can snap to it. But here, again, I'm, I'm confused, because I'm not able to go as high as I want to. I thought I could go really high with this build, but I couldn't. But it turns out you can. I'm just an idiot. What you've got to do is snap it to the actual build. And I hear I'm still trying to work this out. But eventually I get it. I'm still here. I'm still working it out. I, I'm like, oh, is this as high as I can go? I'm like, no, no, this will not work. And then I realise here, oh, I can go higher. I just need to actually snap it to the other build. And then I can move it back into the middle. And I can rinse and repeat and keep going higher. So that was a really good... <laughs> find luckily otherwise i would have never have understood how to get it to go even higher and i would have done a really small tower so my plan for the castle i was kind of looking at a reference photo of the rapunzel's castle from tangled the film so i was liking how it started off really thick at the the bottom and kind of went go skinny nearer to the top and then at the very top, where Rapunzel's castle is, it goes really, really fat again. And I really wanted to do that. The problem was, was the fatter I went, the more those little supports would come out. And I really didn't want those supports. I say they're little supports, they're huge supports. They go all the way to the floor. So I was trying my best for that not to happen. And that's kind of what I do here for a little while. I just play around trying to get the supports not to show. I think in the end I give up with one of them and I just accept that there'll be some supports but not loads. Because I wanted to have a little walkway going around the top section here where Rapunzel can come out and let down her hair if she should wish to.
Now I wanted to start putting in some doors and some windows. Now, I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do this, but sometimes I want like a window with a flower box. And the only way I could work out how to get them is to place them in and then undo the window and then replace it in until you get the one that you want. Now, I don't know if there's an easier way. If there is, let me know in the comments because I'd love to know if that is an easier way or I'm just being an idiot. Probably. Now I do have a really good play around with the paintbrush to see what is possible and I kind of did all kinds of things here but in, I end up going back to how it kind of looked before I think in the end but it was fun to play around with and see what's actually possible and there is a lot of different options there you can have like wood beams going around the side you can change some of the other characteristics as well you can change the color of the wood change the color of the walls it's fantastic but I think what you see now is kind of what I end up with and then I just start to paint in the pathway and work out what we're going to do to the outside. Now I believe whilst looking at the outside I realised that the top of Rapunzel's tower wasn't really working for me. So I just wanted to move a few things around slightly to make it work a little bit better. I wanted to change some of the windows to the square windows and yeah. I think that looks a lot better. I ended up putting a lot of flags around as well. And even on top of the very top of the tower there. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Right, so here I'm painting in the river that's going to go across the whole thing. And I realise that it's impossible to have water up a hill, sadly. I really hope that that's something they add in the future. Because it would be really nice to have some sort of waterfalls that cascade down from the top of the hills down to the bottom. That would be amazing. That was my plan, but I didn't realise it wasn't possible. So I realised that it would be a bit boring if I just had the Rapunzel's Tower there. So I thought I'd add in a little village below. So I start to add in what I assumed was going to be a witch's hut. But I end up doing loads of different houses here, so it just ends up being a little hamlet of houses sort of below Rapunzel's Tower. I don't know what they're doing, maybe it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> maybe they're, they're the keepers of the tower grounds, who knows. Now right here, I put in a little bit of a flower bed in the middle, and I thought, oh, this would be a cool place for a clock tower. The only thing is, is, we can't put clocks on these towers, so it just ended up being a little tiny tower in the middle of a flower bed, which, you know, it actually worked out pretty nicely. I was starting to like how this was looking, I remember, and then I realised that I needed some sort of bridge to go across the water there. Uh, so I had a go at putting in a bridge. Now this was really, really challenging to work out. 
I couldn't quite work out how to make this work, but I did end up getting something to work. It just took a lot of playing around with different buildings getting added, and I ended up settling for a bridge that didn't quite connect properly, but it worked. Like, you're able to get up and down from it, so I kind of kept it like that. I know in the future I'll probably work out better ways to do things like this, but for now, this is what I came up with. This weird, bizarre <laughs> bridge that kind of connects, kind of doesn't. So here I'm really just adding in some final details like fences, some flowers here and there, some trees in places, just making sure everything looks good. And once I've done all of this, I believe that is it complete. So let's take a look at the finished product. And we are all complete, ladies and jelly spoons. Welcome to Rapunzel's Tower. I'm going to take us on a little tour around the whole build. And we're able to do this because we've got different camera modes here. We've got a walking camera where we can walk around. We've got a sky view camera where we can look from the sky. We've got a camera where we can fly around as well. We can fly all the way around the build like this, which is pretty awesome. And I believe this last one is kind of a isometric view of your whole build. And you can't really look up and down, but you can look directly into the map this way. But let's just take a little stroll around the build and experience what we have made. So here's the moat that we added in, and I did add in a pathway under here, I believe. Yeah, look, there is a pathway. So when you put a pathway on water, you end up with all these stones that you can walk across. The thing is, is they're a bit hidden and it doesn't look that good. So I think doing a bridge is a better way of doing it. Now, my bridge was a little bit of a fail, and I've already realized I could have done a much better bridge. If I had gone into the paint menu, I think I could change this to wood. Yeah, see, this would have looked a lot better and I just didn't think it was my own fault. Yeah, this would have looked a lot better. I just didn't think at the time to do this, but you know, I'm learning, I am learning. And I wonder if we change the color as well. No, okay, you can't. So if this stone here could be wood as well, this would be awesome, but that does look a lot better. That kind of fits in as a bridge a lot better. So let's continue back up this bridge again now that we changed it to wood. And yes, this looks a lot better. It's just this section here where I've had to like combine different buildings onto it to kind of bring it all the way out here. If anyone knows a better way of doing this, this bridge, then let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm sure it's just a case of fiddling around with it until you get it right, probably. So when we get over, we come to a little hamlet of houses. We've only got a few. We've got like one, two, three, four houses in total. The original idea that I had was to have like a witch's hut where the witch would be living, who obviously has Rapunzel in her castle. But I ended up having quite a few houses just to flesh it out a little bit and make it a lot nicer. 
This little decoration feature here is what I wanted to be a clock tower, but you can't have clocks on towers, so I just ended up putting some flags around it as a little centerpiece around this flower bed. And one thing that I've forgotten to do here is to add a little pathway to this door, sadly, but maybe he's just overgrown his garden a little bit and hasn't taken care of it. But if we go this way, there's a pathway here that leads down a path which will take you back out into the wilderness again. And if we come on back, we'll be able to go two different ways now. We can go up towards the tower or to the right. So let's first of all go to the right. Because this just goes over to a little house here. So if we turn around, there should be a pathway that leads over to the other houses here. So we've got our cute little house up here, which originally I was thinking would be a shed. But I ended up doing a house instead, which looks pretty. And then we've got our witch's hut over here. I had a few variations of, and this is what I settled with in the end. Because I tried out some arched windows, and I believe the arched windows, if we can get around, we can see them. Because <laughs> they're still here. Yeah, these arch windows here. I tried out these arch windows and I really didn't like them. So I opted for these square windows. And with the square windows as well, you do get the flower box variation that looks really nice. So I much prefer the squares to the arches. But the arches have a place for like churchy and gothic type builds, I guess. And here's another view of the witch's hut. I honestly think less is sometimes more so... Although these builds are very simple, they they work, you know, they do work. Now, if we turn our attention over to Rapunzel's castle, which obviously is what I set out to build in the first place, um, you know, it turned out okay. I'm, I'm quite happy with how this looks. It was just a little bit of a challenge trying to work out how we actually build it up high. And it turns out you just need to connect all the buildings to each other to go higher and higher but yeah it did take me a good like 15 minutes to understand that's how you do it so I'm not sure how high you can go by the way I, I should have probably tested the limits to how high you are able to actually go into the sky and I should have actually tested the limits with the cliffs as well like how high can we go with the cliffs but that's something I can do off camera at some point so obviously with Rapunzel's tower at the bottom, I wanted it to be quite thick and then it gets skinnier and skinnier until you get to the very top where I wanted it to balloon out and be very, very fat. Now the issue was that the fatter that I made the top here, uh, the more likely it is that the supports are going to come down. Like we've got these support beams here. We would have had loads of support beams coming down all the way to the ground and I didn't want that. I wanted it to look like it was just completely being held up by just the tower alone and not by any support. So this is as wide as I could get it without it sort of having the supports going down. I could have maybe tried to add more sections coming off it to try and make it look fatter. But overall, I think, you know, this works. Rapunzel doesn't have a lot of space up here. She's got enough. She's probably got a bedroom, a kitchen and a dining room. And that's all she needs. I have been very courteous and given her some balconies to <laughs> come out here and uh, relax and maybe let down her hair. Pretty good. I'm really happy with how the tower turned out. And I'm happy with the height as well. I think the height works. The scale works for the houses around it. So all in all, good job me. But alas, I think that concludes today's video. Now, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, do let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this. I usually do art content, and this is completely new to me, but I'd love to do more because this is super fun to play. Also, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. It's completely free and helps me out a ton. And until next time, guys, love you guys to death, and I'll see you in the next video.